Hi, welcome to Savi's Fashion Studio. In this class, I'll be showing how to use this free motion embroidery foot with this brother machine. It's used to make simple embroidery on your dress. The embroidery that you see here on this dress is made using this machine. You'd also need the darning plate or feed dog cover plate, or you may have an option in your machine to lower the feed dog, and you'd also need the embroidery hook. Making of this complete dress is shown in the previous video and also the link is given below. Doing embroidery with these tools is very easy. However, to get perfection, you would need more practice. Before trying on an actual garment, try it on a scrap fabric. So let's start with the class. Now I'll put this free motion embroidery foot. First remove the regular foot and remove the shank with the help of the screwdriver that comes with the tools. You just need to loosen the screw. I've removed the shank. Now take your embroidery foot and this is how you hold it. Loosen the screw or remove the screw. And place it in this way. I can see the place where the screw goes. So put it there and tighten. This is where this part of the foot should rest that is behind the needle bar. Now the next thing is you will see small teeth kind of thing here which is the feed dog. What it does in normal sewing is it lifts the fabric and moves it forward so it's easier while sewing. But in freehand embroidery you want to be in control of the fabric as you will be sewing as per the design and you don't want the feed dog to push the fabric forward so we need to disable this feature in some machines there might be a lever which will disable or enable the feed dog but if you don't have that feature we'll be using the darning plate to cover the feed dog this is done for freehand embroidery this is how the back of the darning plate is and there are two holes here in which this sits just press it down And now the feed dog is disabled. Now thread the machine. I'll not be showing winding the bobbin or threading the machine because you have already learned in our previous classes. I'm using red silk thread for this embroidery. Now the machine is ready to be used. The stitch length and what kind of stitch doesn't matter. You can use straight stitches or zigzag stitches for this. You can adjust the uh, stitch width or stitch length as per your requirement. Before starting with sewing, let me show how to prepare the fabric. Now, this is a cotton fabric. I've just done a simple design to show how to use the free motion embroidery foot. I have drawn this freehand. You can use any other design template and transfer the design onto the fabric using carbon or there are different methods. Now, this is the embroidery hoop. Loosen the screw, remove the inner ring and also while doing the embroidery you need a backing or stabilizer which makes it easy while sewing and also provides strength to the fabric. I am using a interfacing. So first I am placing the interfacing and then the design. Center the design in the hoop and now place the inner ring. If the design is bigger you would need to do part by part. So just do one part first and then move on to the other. Once you have centered the design, place the inner ring and before tightening the screw, pull the fabric and make sure it's taut. There should not be any looseness here. Once it's fine, just tighten the screw. Now it's ready for sewing. Now if you see here, when you put the foot down, it does not touch the surface that is still there is place that makes it easy to move the hoop around and there are different sizes available in this embroidery hoop but make sure you have the one which can easily accommodate in this space if it is too big then you will not be able to move it around before starting with sewing always sew on a scrap fabric and see if the stitches are coming fine only then start with your embroidery. Now put the hoop under the needle. Now you see it's difficult, it does not go. Lift the lever to lift the presser foot and then it slides easily. Now you can start 
the stitches from anywhere. I'll be doing this flower first. Put the presser foot down and turn the hand wheel on the right hand side of the machine to lower the needle and turn it till the bobbin thread comes up. Now if you see the bobbin thread has come up, pull it and hold both the threads together and start sewing. I am using straight stitch. You can also use zigzag stitch. I have set the width and length at 1. Press the foot pedal to control the speed. You can uh, sew with full speed but with the hands you can control the fabric movement that is move it slowly as per the design. And once you have sewn a little cut off this initial thread. Just go back and forth to make the line thicker. The more thicker the line you want more times you would need to sew on it. Now if you see here the hoop is touching the foot and I'm not able to move forward then you can do it sideways or you can turn the other way around so it's very easy to manipulate. So you can move backwards you can sew frontwards or you can sew sideways. If you want to make thin lines, do not trace the design so bold or thick. I just made it so that it's clearly visible to you. Whenever the movement is restricted and you're not able to sew, turn the direction and continue sewing. Now I have just done the outline. Now if you want to do filling inside, you can do using the straight stitch or you can use zigzag stitch. I will be using the zigzag stitch to fill inside. So let's start. Move back and forth till all the areas covered. So this is how it is. You can do the same for all. And you can use a different color for the leaves. This is how you use the free motion embroidery foot. I change the thread to green. So I have completed this design. Let me remove this and 
show you how it looks on the wrong side so this is how it is on the back side once done you can loosen the screw and remove the fabric from the hook i don't do much embroidery so i'm not an expert in this hence this design is not perfect but with practice you can get it better and get perfection the embroidery you make now in your fabric if there are designs in different places once one is done you can put the hoop in the second design that you need to embroider so that's how you do it once the embroidery is done you, you can just tear this backing and it will be there only where the place it's embroidered once the embroidery is done you may remove the embroidery foot by loosening the screw and put the shank and tighten the screw then put your regular foot don't forget to remove the plate before normal sewing thanks for watching this class and if you like this class please like share and subscribe and see you soon in the next class till then happy sewing